For most of his career, David Hondula worked as a professor and environmental science researcher at Arizona State University studying the impact of the changing climate. Now, he is on the front lines for Phoenix putting what he knows into practice. Nearly a year ago, Hondula was hired by the city to become its first director of heat response and mitigation. His job, to steer the city's efforts to address the impact of increasingly extreme heat on the sprawling desert metropolis. One of just a handful of heat directors in cities across the country, Hondula is part of a growing movement by municipal governments confronting head-on the risks presented by rising temperatures. Hondula came on board just months after Florida's Miami-Dade County became the first municipality in the nation to hire a heat officer. Earlier this year, Los Angeles followed suit, becoming the third city to create such a position. As local leaders look to a dramatically hotter future, some say these dedicated positions are a necessary step to cope with the impact of climate change on their communities. In many municipal governments, extreme heat is the responsibility of a broader emergency services department, but having a heat-specific position allows for greater focus on the issue, experts say, especially in large cities with warm climates. Having a heat officer is a really smart move because t. They can also look at the inequality and the impact and come up with policies that address that. Phoenix is one of the hottest cities in America, with temperatures frequently rising above 100 degrees. Maricopa County, where Phoenix is located, has had 66 confirmed heat-related deaths since the start of the year and another 268 are under investigation. Hondula said all of them should have been preventable, 